Hi, my name is Bob Schultz. On behalf of h &K, I'd like to welcome all our friends from Milspec Monkey. Yes, this is the MR762A1 rifle. This was developed specifically for the U.S. market based on our combat-proven HK417. Starting from the muzzle, I'd like you to introduce you to some of the features. First of all, we have a 16 and a half inch cold hammer forged free-floating barrel. Barrel is attached via our barrel nut to the upper receiver. On the barrel nut goes our free-floating rail system with Picatinny rail mounts at 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. Moving back to the lower receiver, the magazine is fed from either a 20 or a 10 round detachable box magazine made out of high impact polymer material. Magazine release button releases the magazine, allows it to disengage. As far as the operating controls, we have ambidextrous selector levers on both the left and the right hand sides of the receiver. We also have the ability to mount the locking latch right over here on the charging handle, either on the left or the right hand side for ambidextrous operation. Ford assist behind our extended cartridge case deflector and also to promote accuracy what we've done is we have spring-loaded detents on both the front and rear takedown pins. This eliminates the play or the slot between the two surfaces, the upper and lower receiver. Again, it promotes better accuracy. We have a proprietary H&K buttstock that has interchangeable recoil pads, either concave or convex. To separate the two, simply rotate counterclockwise and remove. Six position buttstock adjustable for length of pull. We also have a unique design that allows you to tighten the buttstock to your desired length of pull, again, to eliminate the play between the two. Inside the buttstock, right over here, is an Allen wrench. And what we do is we go ahead, tighten the set screw inside, and again, that tightens and eliminates the play between the two surfaces. We have a light and trigger system, which is a little bit lighter than our standard military triggers of approximately 22 newtons, which is a little bit less than six pounds. Trigger guard can be folded down for use with gloves and or cold weather gear. And again, the magazine release in the same position, but we have a button. Polymer dust cover secures over the ejection port. And again, we have an ergonomic grip right over here with airtight storage inside the compartment. This version right over here of the HK417 is called the G28. This model was specifically developed for the German military. As you can see right over here, we have the desert coated camouflage for overseas operations. We have a longer barrel. We have a redesigned flash hider, as well as a redesigned gas regulator that helps ensure optimum performance when a Bruger and Tomei suppressor is attached via to the flash hider. One other feature right over here is we've gone to a steel upper instead of the standard anodized aluminum uh, alloy, and this provides a better mating surface for the barrel, provides a little bit better accuracy. You'll also see the ergonomic style buttstock right over here, adjustable cheek piece, as well as adjustable for length of pull. They come standard with a Schmittenbender optic of various types, and also too, we don't have the version here, but they'll have a Bruger and Tame Semesser and a uh, Rheinmetall laser rangefinder. You'll see the trigger guard has been modified again for use with gloved hands or cold weather gear. We also have the ambidextrous selectors, the ergonomic pistol grip, and the ability to mount the charging handle or the locking latch on the charging handle on either the left or the right hand sides. You'll see the backup sights right over here folded in case the optical sight goes down, and these are adjustable for both wind digit elevation. On behalf of h &K, I'd like to thank you for watching our little display, and if you have any uh, requests for information, please contact h &K.